you guys. Welcome to Seven Seas. We've already done this intro. Uh, you can't the file recording, so we're back doing it again. Drinking, drinking crazy train all aboard. Ha, 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 ha. We haven't tasted it at all. We haven't described any of the taste. We haven't talked about the chaos that has been zooming around us. There's an event. Deal with it. We are. Don't know what it is. Maybe you do. Let us know. I'd love to. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's just, it's a little weird right now. Anyways, drinking the hazy train at Seven Seas. I was like, oh, Nick, you'll like this. Then he took a drink and he's like, <laughs> almost died at how bad he thought it was. The yeah. fact is, it's not, listen, not an amazing beer. No. It's not trash, hazy, imperial garbage. No. Thankfully. So that's what I was expecting when I saw a hazy train. I was like, there's going to be some hazy madness. I, I was expecting, yeah, like fruity, tropical, juicy, fucking juice world, juice boy. And uh, not that. It's actually pretty fucking light, first off. Um, I will say... It's light and dry. Yeah, which I'm thankful and then, for. And then they're like, up the higher tones, there's some haziness along with uh, what he described last clip that doesn't exist anymore as like a yeasty funk. And like it's a Belgian yeasty funk. It's been hard for me to push past. I'm in a good spot now. I'm in a good spot mentally. But it was hard to get there. I will say part of the issue is the flavors don't blend. I think that's what it is, is it's so like contrasting to the rest of the beer. That's why I'm like, what the because it'd be one thing if I'm like, oh, what's that subtle funk? Like, okay, whatever. But it's so just like bam, different beer. What? And I will say if you like IPAs and you especially like hazy IPAs, you're probably not loving this. No, probably not. Like, why didn't I just stick with the Willie Mays or whatever it's called now? Um, and I wouldn't blame you. So, I don't think it's bad, though. I just don't... This doesn't really make sense. No, I, I think... I was trying to think, I'm like, you know, would a person that likes loggers like this, who's like specifically lager-wise, I'm like, I don't think so, so much, because I think this is still pretty hoppy. And so that might be a little jarring for them. Well, there's the category that we love, which is hop loggers. Yeah, right. I do, I do see some of that in this, but... I don't. I don't find this particularly enjoyable. Wait, you don't find what particularly? This. Oh, this. Yeah. Like, hop lagers are nice because you have the refreshing aspect of the lager, and then you have the hoppiness of a, like an IPA. So you kind of got the best of both worlds. Yeah. Usually, you don't get a ton of pop flavors, but you get a nice bitterness right. along with the refreshing. This does have the bitterness. I wouldn't call this refreshing. It's no, a little thick. yeah, it, and it and it does still have like a sweet aspect to it, but it's not like a typical like juicy hazy sweetness. Like that flavor is there; it's just not throughout the flavor profile. Right. It's like up in the upper tones, and so it's a little like I don't. It's just it's not a it's not a smooth evolution. It's not a fucking amazing experience throughout the beer. I would say I'm I'm just very confused by the concept. I guess. Like, yeah. when you call your beer hazy train, and then it's just like, not like a hazy lager, yeah. hazy hop lager that's got some Belgian yeast in it. Like, that's the beer right there. You call it that on the board, I'm like, got it. It's, a, exactly what getting into. it's a hazy hop hef. Yes, hef is better. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Maybe a blonde. Nailed it. Blonde hef kind of thing. Because maybe it's not so weedy like a hef. Maybe it's more like a blonde. Maybe it has some of that though. Like I, I could, I could see it either way. I could see it either way. Somewhere in there though, that's that's what this beer is. Yes. And uh, I'm, I don't think there's a big audience for it. I bet, I bet this is probably not the most successful beer. If I, if I had to put money on. I am 100% uh, in agreement with you. And I think, honestly, a lot of that has to do with the marketing behind it. Like, again, I just don't really understand where you get off calling it hazy trim. Like, it's not a bad beer by any means. And I think if you label, like, if you call this a, you know, a hoppy, hazy hef or something like that, then people who like hef would be like, oh, oh, 
interesting. That's cool. Like, Belgians, yeah. Like, oh, this is a nice take. Like, this is pretty interesting. But I think people who like Hess and like Belgian style beers, like, they're not going to want to even try this. Because Probably. when they see Hazy Train, they're like, nah, that's, that's not me. Well, even if they see, saw Hazy and Hef, they might be not inclined to try because it's like, typically they don't like those bitter beers. So I don't know. That's true. Yeah. I really don't know. I'd be, I would be interested to see from like the brewer's perspective what who they were targeting, what they were going for. Yeah. Because um, I don't, I don't quite get the concept. Nope, I don't either. Very I'm, I'm gonna put this at like a C. Yeah, just a straight C. It's not, it's not bad. No, it's not a bad beer, but it's drinkable. The concept is confusing. Uh, it, it does have a lot of tasty aspects to it, but then it has like some weird. Contrasting shit going on that I'm not a fan of. So I think C is very fair. And the other thing too is I don't see getting this again. First no, no. It will not be beer number dos, that's for sure. Well, come try it for yourself. Let us know what you think of it. Summer it's summer misses. I like drinking the occasional mist, but uh, it's an interesting beer. It adds some like ideas to your brain of like different combinations and stuff. Yeah. It's just like Anything else, cooking, you, you throw in an ingredient that you're like, maybe this will work, and then it's like, then it doesn't work. Or sometimes you find an amazing combination. Yeah, you're like, whoa, I never would have thought of this unless I was like, fuck it, and it turns out it was great. So, and we found some of those, you know, I, I bring up every single time the E9's Big Cherry, where I'm like, I was very surprised at how tasty that beer was. But I'm glad we got it. This one didn't work out. It's fine, it's is what it is. Uh, if you haven't tried it, you're by seven seasons. Pick it up. It's a beer. 16 ounces. You can drink one. It's definitely drinkable. Uh, absolutely. So, absolutely. At the very least, come to seven seasons and get something. We got a lot of off to offer. And we'll see you guys next week. Later.